and welcome to the Hammered Leatherworks Studio. Today's sew along we're going to be making the long wallet. Uh, just to give you an idea, this long wallet is probably going to take you two to three hours to complete and it's a long project but it's also one of our most complex but the results are, are worth it. You'll get a heirloom quality wallet that will last you for many many years. So in, in the kit you'll get 10 precision cut pieces a high quality brass YKK zipper, wax linen thread, uh, sewing needles and hardware. You will need scissors to cut the thread. Um, glue is not included in the kit, it is optional uh, but you could use any flexible white craft glue you have around the house. Um, you could complete the kit without it, it's just a little bit more difficult. So this is called Tiger Grip, it's available at most craft stores. Um, Spotlight, Lean Craft, Textile Traders, all those sorts of places. Um, it's really good stuff for working with leather. Today we're going to make this kit um, following the instructions. So they'll come to you like this in your kit. Make sure you read the top section before you start and take a look at our stitching, DV, uh, stitching video if you haven't seen it before. And that will give you all the basics you need to make beautiful stitches every time including the little tips and tricks on how to start, how to do that finishing knot and how to reinforce the stitch to make it stronger. So let's get started. I'm just going to put some of these bits aside that we're not going to need straight away. Alrighty. So we're going to follow the instructions exactly as they come in your kit. So step one is to get organized. All the pieces in the kit are labeled. Three, two, one, etc. Every, every piece will have a number on it to make it easier to follow. So we're going, to, uh, we're going to do this in steps. So we're going to complete the card slot side of the long wallet first. To do this you're going to need pieces 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 1, 2, 3 and this one here is piece 4. So I'm going to pop the rest aside. There we go. Now, we're going to lay down piece four and lay piece three on top of it, lining up the top holes on the back piece with the top with the bottom holes on the first piece. We're going to start by sewing these small seams across the bottom here. So we're going to measure our thread. Um, these are waxed linen threads. They're hand dyed. They come from America. Beautiful things. One, two, three, four. And because they're short seams, we're going to add a needle length. And we're going to be doing two of them. So I'm just going to cut two at once. Okay, there we go. Pinch the end of the thread. Now you'll notice in this instruction it says do not start between the layers for this seam. Okay, so just keep that in mind because I know normally you would start between the layers for leather work. There we go. Do not start between the layers. Stitch to the end and back, reinforcing the first stitch. Tie the finishing knot at the back and repeat this for the set of holes on the other side. Okay, so here we go. We have lined up our piece on the holes. We're going to come up from the back. I like to come up the second hole across. It just reduces the bulk when you tie the knot. Reinforce the first hole. Not. Trim. And tuck. So the waxed linen thread will um, cling to itself. So just push it against the stitches you've just made. 
Now thread our needle again and we're going to do the other side. There we go. Reinforce the last hole. Not trim and tuck. Okay, step one B. We're going to lay piece two on top of piece three and four, lining up the holes in the bottom of the piece with the next set of holes down. And we're going to repeat what we just did. So we're going to sew the two bottom seams. One, two, three, four, plus a needle length. And we need two of them. go make sure you line your holes up so it all matches reinforcing stitch here we go Tie the knot, trim, and tuck. Now for the other side. Leaving a decent tail. Reinforce that last stitch. And tie the knot. Trim. And Now we're up to step 1C. We're going to lay piece 1 on top of all the pieces, matching the holes at the bottom. It will look like this. You'll be two holes down from the top there. To finish this section, we need to sew this set of holes here through the center. So as we did before, we're going to measure four times our stitching thread. One, two, three, four, plus a needle length. So when I say a needle length, that's what I mean. So we're not going to start between the layers for this seam either. We're going to start from the back. Reinforcing that top stitch. So we're going to come up the second hole down as we did before. So keeping our pieces lined up. Coming up the second hole down. Here we go. We're going to stitch all the way to the bottom and back up again. Here we go. And we're going to reinforce that top stitch.
Here we go. We're going through it twice. There we go. So now we're going to knot off our threads. Trim and tuck. There we go. You've just completed step one, which is the card only side of your wallet. So we're going to set that aside now and we're going to move on to step two. For this, we're going to need pieces five, six, seven, and eight. So this one is piece five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm just going to layer, layer these up in order. Now you'll notice we need just piece five first because what we're going to do, this is your coin section, we are going to put the zipper in. So that's why this, this piece is a little bit oddly shaped because the zipper is going to go in the center of it and then it's going to fold. So when the piece is in the wallet, the zip runs across the top there. So this is where the glue comes into it. It's really handy. What to do is you turn piece five over so you have the wrong side facing up, which is the suede side. So you take your glue and you're going to put a really sparing amount just over the holes and to the inside of the holes. There we go. And I mean really sparing. You don't want a lot. With leather you can't uh, put pins through it. So the glue is basically going to act as our pins as if we were sewing. So it's going to just give us a little bit of bond between the between the zip and the leather. So you're going to carefully place the leather over the zipper, sort of centering it up in the in the gap there. You push it down. Now we do want to let it dry a little bit, so it's nice and um, nice and secure. So we're just going to give it a good push. If you get it wrong, just peel it off and put it back down again. Because the glue dries clear, it, it won't be a problem. So the next seam we're going to sew is the one that's going to hold the zipper in place. So it's the rectangle in the center. So because we're only going through one layer of leather and the zip on this piece, instead of measuring four times, we're actually going to measure three. So you need to go all the way around the edge because that's what we're going to be sewing. And then we're going to times that by three. So one, two, three. So as you can see, I've got three lengths there. I'll show you this way. There we go. I've got three lengths there. And we're going to trim. We're going to thread our needle. This is quite a long bit of thread, so do take your time making this seam because you want to make sure that you pull all the thread through all the holes evenly. There we go. Needle threaded. And hopefully our glue is dry enough. looks like it. Okay, so now you can hide your reinforcing stitch at the back of this piece um, so that it's not seen when you put it into the wallet. Just keep in mind that when you put your wallet, put this zipper in your wallet, zips always go from left to right. So you want your reinforcing stitch to be at the back here because this is going to be your front. So that's where we're going to start. So I'm going to start right here. 
This seam is a little bit trickier because there obviously there aren't any holes in the zipper. So take your time. It isn't difficult. Um, the needles are quite sharp, so they'll push through quite easily. It's just finding that initial hole to come up. You'll find that once you get started, you'll find a rhythm. And by looking at the back, you'll be able to see a line forming of that you can follow um, when you're going down the seam. Okay, so we've made it round to where we started. Now we're going to go back the way we came to create the second leg of the saddle stitch. So we're going to go You'll find the way back a little bit easier because the zip's not going to move on you because it's already in. Uh, but you may also find it a little bit more difficult because there's already um, thread in the holes. So just take your time. Remember not to uh, wiggle your needle. So it should be starting to look like this. Ladies, we're back where we started making that last stitch. So we now have thread in every hole. So what we're going to do is make that reinforcing stitch. I'm just going to pull that out. It's our tail. So we're going to complete this stitch by going up the hole we started in and then going back down one hole back. So we end up with two layers of thread in the hole there. Keeping in mind this piece is going to fold and your zip is going to pull left to right. There we go. So we pull the thread through the back. We're going to tie our knot. Just 
trim. And tuck. There we go. Smooth the stitches a little bit with our hands. There you go. You've done it. You've put your zip in your wallet. So we're just going to set that piece aside now. And we're going to need pieces 6, 7 and 8. Which are these ones here. 6, 7 and 8. So this is the card section that goes on the front of the coin section. So we're going to lay piece 6 over piece 7 and we're going to sew the small uh, seams together at the, both the bottom of the pieces together. So we measure our thread as we've done and threaded our needle. Now matching our holes, we're going to stitch the small seams at the bottom. Do our reinforcing stitch and then we tie our knot, trim and tuck. Now we're going to do the other side. Reinforcing that top stitch. Tie our knot. Trim. And tuck. Now we're going to take piece 8. We're going to lay it on top of the below pieces. This one's a little bit different because what you need to how you need to space this out is using the holes at the top here. You need to be two holes down and then you butt that piece up to it. Because this piece doesn't connect to a piece at the bottom because it doesn't need to. So now we're going to sew the center seam. So we are now on step 2C. So we're going to measure our thread 1 two, three, four, plus a needle length. You'll have lots of thread left, that's fine guys, because uh, the last step is, is very thread, takes up a lot of thread. So. Now just as we did before in the first step when we put the other card slots together we're not going to come up between the layers we're going to start from the second hole down leaving a decent tail okay so there we have gone through those first two holes now is where we start going through all the layers to the bottom and back up again Okay, so we've filled all the holes. I'm going to complete that one on the back there. So you see there's no thread in that hole right now. We're going to complete that stitch. Do our reinforcing stitch on the top hole. Turn it over and we're going to tie the knot. Trim. And tuck. There we go. You have now completed the middle of your wallet. You now have all the pieces you need to sew this into the inside cover. So we're onto the on the home stretch now. So we need pieces nine and ten. So we'll put that aside. This is piece ten. This is the cover piece. This is piece nine. It's the strap. So what we're going to do now 
is we're going to weave the strap through the cover lining up the hardware and stitching holes so holding the cover in front of you with the hardware hole in the middle of the wallet on your right we're going to take the buttonhole end of the strap and we're going to weave it through the slots there's one and the next slot and now we're going to pull this along so we line up the stitching holes on the edge here and the hardware holes so we're now going to take the button that came in the kit it is a screw it's going to help secure these pieces together you're going to push the button section up from the wrong side which is the suede side through both layers and then screw the button closure on top if you want it to be super secure you can add a little bit of glue to the, the screw section and that will just keep it extra tight so there we go so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this piece over so now we've got the suede side facing up we're going to take the card section and it's going to go on the side where the button closure is this is the section we made in step one so we're going to sew this on first so you're going to measure the thread as you would before you've got to go four times your stitching length three one two three four so that's four times my stitching length and because I've got lots of thread left I've actually gone for five just in case because we're going through lots of layers of leather okay so to get started on sewing this piece down we are going to start between the layers coming up through the third hole down so if you take the card section and count one two three there we go and you're going to leave yourself a decent tail to be able to get in there to knot it off because we are coming up between the seams now so lay section one back on top of section 10 and we're going to saddle stitch all the way around through all the layers you're holding in your hand once you get those first couple of stitches in you'll find all your pieces will start lining up correctly just keep in mind that the card pockets are all even steps don't for, don't twist it and force it to fit when you're coming across the bottom you will come across the strap piece remember to include that when you're stitching okay so there we go through the layers including the strap now when you get to the other side short side of your wallet you may go oh how do I know if my pieces are lined up properly count your holes it's the best way to do it so you've got one two and then the new piece starts one two and then the new piece starts so same thing here one two new piece starts one two new piece starts one two new piece starts pinch it there okay so we've reached the end 
I'm going to turn around and start coming back. This is where you need to keep in mind the stitching video. I'm going to turn mine over so we're working from the front. About your perfect stitches. So you want to come up. You can think of it as left, right, up, down. However you need to think of it to remember. I'm going to do up, down as my stitches. So I'm going to come up the top side of the hole and go down the bottom side of the hole. Okay, so there we are, we have sewn all the holes on that side. Now we're going to do our reinforcing stitch. So we're going to go up, up a hole, and down a hole. So that puts two layers of thread in that third hole down. And to get back to the center, which is where we left our tail to start with, we're going to go down, but only through the one layer of leather. So we're going to come up through the center between the pieces. There we go. Same as we did before, we're going to tie our knot. Trim, there we go, and tuck. So you're going to push the push the tails down that inside line of stitching in there. There we go. We're almost home now. So you've got one side of your wallet in. Now for the other. So this one's a little bit trickier because this piece folds at the top. If you are having trouble with it, you can glue the sides to hold them together in place. Uh, it's not absolutely necessary though. It's quite easy without. But if you're finding it difficult, it's a great tip. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to measure our thread again. One, two, three. We'll go five times again. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Thread our needle. You're on the home stretch now. This is the last seam. There we go. So if you want your reinforcing stitch to be on the same side, you need to start on the same side. So I'm just going to take this number 10 off because it's in the way. So this side here has the reinforcing stitch on it, so that's the side we're going to have to start on. So we're going to fold our zipper section and go up the third hole down. So making sure the holes on the back match the holes on the front. So that's hole one, two, three. Same on the back there, one, two, three. My needle fell out. Try again and pull. Okay, 
leaving ourselves a good tail. Now, your first stitch on this side will take you through all your layers almost. So you're going to go through the card section, the pocket section and the front cover. Which should be the fourth hole down on both sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And as we did before, keeping in mind that the there is two holes between each card slot piece. So one, two. Same on this side. Piece is moving. One, two, and then we're moving on to all layers. Do take the time to count because there's nothing worse than getting to the corner and realizing that one of your pieces is out because you will notice it because they won't all line up when you get there. So do take the time to count. Remember to line up your pieces as you go to keep all your edges together. Keeping in mind that once you've uh, done this seam, there's no coming back to try and line them up afterwards. So do take your time. When you come across the strap section, and just make sure that you don't stitch through the strap because obviously there's no holes in it there to, uh, to stitch through. It's blank. You want the strap to be loose. So we've reached the end and we're going to go back the way we came. Once again, I'm going to work from the outside so I can see my stitches. Keeping in, in mind the up and down of the stitching video. So we're now back where we started, we're going to do those final few stitches to make sure we have a thread in every hole, there we go, like this, and like this, we're going to do our reinforcing stitch, that means putting two layers of thread in that third hole down as you can see there and then as we did before can you go up or down we went down pushing the needle through all the layers except the cover to come up in the center go this way the lights better there we go and then we knot
and we trim and we tuck and congratulations you're done one long wallet for everyday use for a very long time we'd love to see finished photos of your project you can uh, post those on Instagram using the hashtag Hammered Leatherworks, Facebook, or with, even on Pinterest. And I hope you love yours just as much as I love mine. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. And when you're ready to tackle your next project, come visit us online. HammeredLeatherworks.com.au